Hello and welcome to my shop. Today we're going to be taking a close look at Harbor Freight's close quarters drill. This is their 3 8 inch chuck model. Um, this is the only Harbor Freight tool that I own that contains both a plug and a motor. And uh, surprisingly enough, this thing hasn't blown apart or caught on fire while using it. Um, <clears throat> I do a lot of wood turning and this is what I use for power sanding. I've owned a few other Harbor Freight power tools and I wound up just giving them all to the Habitat for Humanity store just because they're all garbage. But for some reason, this particular tool has held up. Um, I really don't know why and that's what I'm here to find out tonight. So I'm going to take this thing apart um, mostly to see if it's actually a well designed tool or if maybe if I just got lucky. So I'm going to be looking for things like, does it have metal gears, um, are the gear housings metal, uh, things like that. Um, I don't have any advanced degrees or training in uh, manufacturing or materials engineering, so <clears throat> unfortunately you're not going to see me analyzing the different types of plastics and metal that go into this thing. Um, so we're going to keep this pretty basic, uh, just to see if this is a well-designed tool or not. So let's, get, let's get started. <laughs> awesome. So here's the first thing. So um, this back plate is it, it's labeled magnesium. And uh, I'm not sure what it is it's some sort of kind of flimsy metal, but it just it just covers more plastic. So, all right. I was kind of thinking that was an important piece, that piece of figure quote magnesium. Guess not. <laughs> all right, we're back. Getting the chuck off was wasn't too bad. First time I removed a keyless chuck. All right, so now our collar should come off. Yes. Yes. Yes, it does. Okay. So here's the back of the chuck if anyone's curious. Um, looks to be pretty standard issue stuff. Plastic, little metal, metal screw, which I, oof. Kind of mur murdered this thing, taking it out. We'll we'll <laughs> we'll see how how fair is going back in. This little button here. All right. Well, let's finish splitting this thing open. Ta-da! Here she is in all her glory. Happy little motor, some bearings down here. Okay, at least it's riding in bearings. That's good. While I'm in here, I'm definitely going to uh, clean this thing out a little bit and maybe give these a little bit of lubrication. Because this thing, I do use it for sanding bowls, so it doesn't have a happy life. Um, <laughs> it gets constantly exposed to dust. The only good thing about it is that the the air intake and vents are, are down here at the bottom. Uh, as opposed to up here in the business end, so it, it's a little more clean down here. Well, well, this is the, on a on a close quarters chuck. This is the this is the most interesting part, the gearbox. So let's take that apart too. Come on, baby. Oh. It, okay. There it is. I will zoom you in on this stuff. All right. 
but everything's metal with a metal housing, so that's not so bad. Um, the grease situation is pretty dire, I would say. I mean, <clears throat> I should have fired this thing up before I started taking it apart to show you what it sounds like, but it's on the loud side. It's not, not a smooth running tool. Um, assuming that I don't completely mess this thing up and, and break it, um, I'll fire it up when, I'm, when I have it back together. Yeah. There's just, there's not a ton of grease in here, so I am going to add some more. Um, yeah, so there's really not much else to, to talk about in this tool. So a light, light metal housing here. Um, these gears are, I don't know, this is some sort of steel. And I don't see any, any wear in here. Everything seems to be in good shape. Um, the bearings aren't large. Um, but there isn't a ton of room in here for larger bearings. The one in front is pretty big, so that's positive. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not too bad. I mean, this this tool goes for I think forty bucks normally, and um, with coupon magic, you have a I think a, a pretty reasonable tool. So let me put some lube on this thing and get it back together. Well, there you have it guys. Um, I hope that was informative and I hope this would help you make some intelligent uh, purchasing decisions in the future. So thanks for watching and if anyone has any questions or comments leave them down below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.